Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to GTA San Andreas and our 100% playthrough where today we are taking on the fourth Four Dragons mission, which is called Don Peyote. So let's go ahead and jump in. It's Don Peyote. I think that's how you pronounce it. I can't actually remember. Hello? Who am I speaking to? It's CJ. Hey, Troop, is that you? Might be. Might be a government algorithm trying to pick your brain, so don't admit anything. Whatever, man. What's up? I need a favor, Carl. Thought I could cash in some karma chips. Your credit good? I took some fellow travelers deep into the desert on a peyote safari a few nights back. We faced the inner light and communed with the Lizard King. Sound fun. How'd it go? That's the problem. I don't know. I'm in Los Santos. I woke up at a Japanese bathhouse about an hour ago. I have no idea how I got here or where the others are. They're probably fine. I don't think so. They were Brits, a band, and their managers. They have no experience about the desert. Okay, where'd you make camp? I can go have a look. I took them up Arco del Oeste. Fantastic sunsets. Best start looking for them up there. Okay, so we've got to go and find a couple of people. I love the truth, man. He's so funny. Right, so we've got to go and find Paul and Macca. You might recognize those names if you've played GTA Vice City, or if you've watched me play GTA Vice City. Uh, but if not, you're going to become familiar with them pretty soon. Um, so, yeah. If you haven't seen my Vice City playthrough, by the way, I did a 100% playthrough of it. Not, well, quite a while ago now, actually. Um, I'll leave a little card up above the video right about now. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> so you can go ahead and check that out. Man, it feels like ages ago now since we did that. Um, where are we going here? Oh, we've got a long way to go. We've got to go all the way out. To there. Flipping hell. I didn't realise it was that far. Jeez. We've gone completely the wrong way. It might take us a while to get out there. Whoops, sorry. I didn't mean to crash into you, officer. Uh, but yeah, GTA Vice City was a uh, it was a lot of fun to play. It's actually my favourite GTA game. I know this one. I mean, this one is better. Don't get me wrong. They put so many amazing things into this game, but I don't know. Vice City for me will always be just slightly better. There's something about it. Just something special about that game. I don't know if it's like the location, the sort of 80s theme thing, I don't know, it's just, it's just great, isn't it? Whoops, that was a bit dangerous. But yeah, I mean, this game's far more detailed, there's way more in it than Vice City had, but... I don't know, Vice City's just great. I love Vice City. So yeah, you might recognise some of the characters that we're going to encounter now. If you don't, don't worry, you're going to become familiar with them. Hopefully no cars coming the other way here. It's lucky we've got a semi-fast car, isn't it? Whoa! Whoa! Dude, what the hell? Some of these people are just crazy. Uh, what's the best way to get up here? Probably head up there and take a left, isn't it? Let's do that. Whoops! Just checking out the um, the flipping ability of the car there. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> God, that was lucky. Uh, what are we doing? Hey! Hey, what the hell? All the maniac drivers are out today, clearly. Not me, though, obviously, because I'm a good driver. Uh, right, so we need to go up the mountain, don't we? Uh, what's the best way to get up the mountain here? I can never remember. Might have to cut at this, right? Get out of the way. Dang. 
shut up. Uh, do we just go up there? I think there's a path there, isn't there? Yeah, there it is. Jeez, I don't know what I was doing there. Come on, car, you can make it. I've kept a car because I think we need it. Uh, can we go round here? Yep. Yeah. And then higher up. Where are they? Are they here? Where are they? Oh, there they are. <laughs> I did not see that marker at all. Hello? Hey, anybody out here? The truth sent me. Hey, over there. Hey, man, you all right? Fucking hell. I'm fucking hanging. Stone me bloody crows. Oh, where am I? I don't know, mate. I was having a dream. I was wanking over some fat bird's tits when this twat turned up. Macca, you fucking psycho. Uh, you did it again, didn't you? That peyote was shite. You're lucky I brought some tabs along. I told you a million times not to put stuff in my fucking drink. Oh, piss off, kid, huh? Who are you again? Oh, I'm a friend of the truth. He said you guys might need a ride in the town or something. But I'm a fucking raspberry. You're not a fucking raspberry. I can't feel my legs, RP. I've wanked the use out of them. Just stand up, you <laughs> soppy cunt. We go through this every weekend. Ow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Man, what the hell was y'all doing last night? Anybody got a rag? Uh, so where I'm taking y'all? I got a pal, Rosie. He's got some casino kid going down in Ventura. Sweet. All right. Fuck off, string. Oh, charming. All right, ladies, let's go. <laughs> I Come love on. these two so much. Well, it felt like I couldn't feel them, honest. Oh, God. <clears throat> right, okay. Need a vehicle with at least two... Where's my car gone? There it is. Right, in we get, boys. Come on. Sorry, it's a bit banged up, but it'll do. Alright, go and pick up wait. Paul and Macca. Take Paul and Macca to the snake farm. So off we go to the snake farm then. So where's the rest of the band, guys? Macca, where are the boys? I don't fucking know, do I? I remember snakes. Lots of snakes. It's a snake farm not too far from here. We can go check it out. Snakes. Lots and lots of snakes. God, I forgot how much I love these characters. You're as a drowned baby, man. Oh, oh, God. Oh, I think I'm gonna chuck. P, what you need is some food down your... <coughs> a fried egg sarnie with mayonnaise will sort it. <coughs> and what about a pickled egg? God. Oh, pull over now. Well, we're there, funnily enough. Here we are. <coughs> Familiar? Looks just like Salford to me. What are you talking about? <laughs> Take a gander at him, fellas. Is that him? That there city boy has gone and been with my prize hog. Now I don't even get no sugar from her. And that <laughs> oh, one my Lord. screwed my sis. I had a terrible <laughs> aching in my grinds ever since. I'm gonna slap you silly for giving me and my fellow the red bumpies. <laughs> what <in> tarnation! <laughs> I'm a fixin' to give you a whooping for what you gone and done to my young uns. And screw you guys, they're just wandering around, look. Right, well there we go. Get back to Rosie's casino in Las Venturas. Get in boys, come on. Because we've got a wanted level here. So we're gonna need to hightail it back to Las Venturas. Oh my god. Hey, what about the band? We'll just have to pray they've made it to civilization. Keep all this and drummers at ten a penny anyway. Which casino is it? It's called Caligula's. It's on the strip somewhere, I think. Oh, that's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? We know about Caligula's. Um, are we going the wrong way again? Uh, no, this should work. 
we'll just rejoin the road back around there. What kind of tits <sighs> does this Rosie have? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Rosie's a man. And stop touching yourself. It's just for comfort, Pablo. This is a stressful situation, man. You're fucking telling me it is. Ah, oh, can it, you two? Hey, he started it. Yeah. God, I forgot how funny the dialogue in this mission is. Completely forgotten. Uh, how the hell are we getting back to Las Venturas here? Can we just cut across there into town? I think we probably can, right? Oh, wait, no, there's a wall. Uh, wait, hang on. Oh, no, it's a fence, damn. Does the fence disappear? Yes, it does. Excellent. Shortcut. Perfect. We're back in Las Venturas. Oh, come on, boys. Deliver some more funny lines. <clears throat> I'm cracking up here. Honestly, I think this might be... I mean, there's some really funny dialogue in this game between characters, but I think this might be the funniest. Or it's definitely up there, isn't it? It might be because I'm British as well. But, I don't know, it just cracks me up so much. Get back in your truck. What was that person doing? <coughs> Move out the way, come on. What the hell is this person behind doing? Hey! God, the computer's making the cars go manic. Anyway, we're nearly back. I'm going to drop them off at Caligula's. And that will be that. already been here recently, haven't we? For the second heist mission. Shit, here come them snake forms. Alright, I had enough. Let's finish this. Oh, I don't remember this bit. Oh, I'm gonna grab some big tits, man. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. Green blood Oh, okay. Um... <clears throat> yeah, that's how we do it in Salford, man. Welcome to America. Uh, you're dead. That'll do. <laughs> Just waiting for him for my opportunity there. Let's go in and see Rosie. Got to go and see Rosie now. <laughs> Kent Paul, here to see Rosie. Hey boss, there's somebody here to see you. Oh, go away. I have a migraine. Oh, hey, Rosie, son, it's me, Paolo. Oh, God. My despair is complete. Okay, let him in. Rosie, how are you, me old son? I pray that one day I can escape my perpetual torment and retire in peace and comfort a million miles away from anyone I've ever fucking known, and instead, I get this? Come on, it's me, Kent Poe. Well, hello, Paul. What a pleasant surprise. Who the hell are these guys? These are my boys, Mecca and Carl, sir. You are any speckled doves, boss? I'm peeking on one right <laughs> now. Top of the range, yeah. man. Well, it's fitting as I sit here up to my neck in a river of shit with every mafia gorilla from Liberty City to Los Santos pissing in my face that you, Kent Paul, should witness it. What's the matter, son? Too numerous. Impressively insurmountable and depressingly fucking typical, even to mention. It's all right, bruv. Paolo can help. Give us some space, would you, son? I'll give you a tinkle later. All right, for sure. Not you, Mecca. Oh, you twat. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> now, you might recognise Rosie from Vice City as well. Um, he's got a lot less hair than he had back then. Hey, Woolsey. I think I found a way to scope Caligula's casino without causing too much suspicion. We could talk later. 
And there we go, mission passed, respect plus. Our respect meter's going up quite a lot, actually. Um, there's the truck that those snake farmers turned up in. They locked it, really? Oh well, we've got a phone call here. Speak on it. All right, Cole? It's me, Paolo. Listen, Rose is in a tangle, and I think you're the geezer to sort it out for us, okay, sunshine? Slip round the office and see me, double quick. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, so that's the end of the Four Dragons missions. Um, now we get Caligula's Palace missions with those guys. Um, again, really good fun missions. But yeah, I was saying, Rosie, you might recognise, has got a lot less hair than in Vice City. It's actually Ken Rosenberg, who's a, a major player in GTA Vice City. So it's good to see some familiar faces again in the game, isn't it, from the Vice City days. And there's also going to be some GTA 3 references coming up as well. Um, so it all links together now. The stories all come together quite nicely. Uh, but let's check our stat screen. Because that is going to do it for this one. So we're up to 58.82% complete. And that is going to do it for this episode. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new. Or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.